So tonight, uh, we have an opportunity to focus on the issues. And I think I want to begin by asking uh, each of our guests, what drew you to the particular candidate that you're supporting? Uh, because you have a great choice. I mean, all three, uh, Hillary Clinton, John Edwards, Barack Obama, have tremendous strengths, and I would certainly stack any of them up against the Republicans. Yes, I'm a partisan. Don't get shocked. If the Republicans want to do this, they can have their own show. But this is the Democrats' <laughs> turn. So I want to start, and I, I, I guess I'll start in the same order that I introduced uh, with, with Judy. Um, what drew you to Hillary Clinton? I began to notice Hillary Clinton when she was First Lady. I noticed her extraordinary story, how she was a lawyer who could have worked for corporations, but instead chose to work for the Children's Defense Fund and, and help abused and neglected children. Um, and then I saw how she was tested during the presidency. Uh, I saw her very extraordinary intelligence when she took on the health care issue. Uh, I saw that she faced many challenges and yet she was able to deal with all those challenges and hold her head up high. I concluded she was tough, she was strong, she was intelligent and when she ran uh, for president uh, I said I want to support her. I think mm -hmm. that's the kind of person that we need right now. Mm -hmm. Anthony, why John Edwards? Well, first of all, I want to echo something you said. We're, we're blessed with a great field of, of choices. So I think, uh, you know, we're going to win in, in 2008. We're going to win this year. But for me, uh, what drew me to John Edwards were several things. Um, this is the son of a mill worker. This is a man who, who came from, you know, humble beginnings, who understands how important it is to to strengthen the middle class, to give people an opportunity for upward mobility, to, to grow from generation to generation. And I think that's what's missing today, is we're not providing that opportunity. So I think this is a man who came and benefited from that opportunity, understands how important it is to strengthen the middle class. And I think that's a, that's a telling part of who he is as a person. Number two, this is a man who takes positions on issues. This is a man who has pushed the, the the agenda of this race uh, on universal health care, on uh, ending poverty, on strengthening labor. You know, he has been out there on issue after issue showing leadership. And I think that's refreshing for presidential candidates to do that. Mm -hmm. um, number three, I think he's extremely electable um, in matchups against key Republicans. And I think it's important that we take back the White House, and I think he gives us our best chance to do that. And number four, here's a man who voted for the war in Iraq, but then said I was wrong. You know, has taken that issue head on and has said I made a mistake. And again, that's a rare thing for many politicians to admit that they made a mistake and he, he has taken that issue head on. Something that would be a, a weakness, he's turned into, you know, saying I'm sorry I made a mistake. And I think that adds up to a very, very good candidate. I obviously want to come back to Iraq, but, but first I want to hear <coughs> Linda's thoughts about Barack Obama. Sure. Well, um, you know, I gave it very careful consideration when I weighed the different candidates and saw them in the debates. And I, I have to tell you, I have been incredibly drawn to Barack Obama because he has all of the makings of the kind of leader this country needs to really turn this country around. I mean, we desperately need change. I don't think we can get change um, from somebody who uses the same recycled ideas and the same recycled advisors. Um, and I, his perspective is so fresh. I've served in Washington, D.C. for six years now, and I've seen how difficult it is to bring fresh ideas and change to Washington and to our country because there's a whole inside political game that goes on, and oftentimes great ideas and, and, and new talent is sort of dismissed because those that possess them are seen as too idealistic or too young or not willing to play the game, so to speak. And I think if we want to bring about fundamental change in this country, if we want to unite people behind uh, the common cause of taking care of serious, serious problems, our economy, our relationship with other countries in the world. We need somebody who can bridge that gap and somebody who has the intellect, the sound judgment, the principles, the convictions, the um, consistency, and the ability to inspire people to come together to solve those problems. And I think that's all 
um, encompassed in Barack Obama and his candidacy. And mm -hmm. I think he is a once in a generation candidate, and I, I, I'm just so proud of what he's done in his short time in Washington. He's had a lot of success, and uh, and I really think that he is best poised to lead this country.